Well, there you go. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Um, I believe this will be recorded. Um, hello, Paul. It's been a while uh, yeah, since hello. being on video. Um, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Um, I'm going to wait one second here. No. Right well, hello. My name is Paul, and I'm um, I'm not a homosexual. So it'll be fun. <coughs> Yeah, um, the light Sorry. behind is uh, quite aggressive. Now, Paul, I think people out there have seen us before. Um, a couple of years back, we had to do football. Yeah. Um, now, we're a serious political program now. Oh, uh, hang on, Salem. <laughs> Salem, pipe down. Yeah. Pipe down, how about you? Uh, oh, yeah, don't know. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Paul, yeah, anyway, was, yeah. looking back at the time of fantastical football, it was what you call in the period of life the idyllic life. Um, how do you look back on those? Because obviously we're, we're a long time away now, three, four, five years ago. What do you think of that time in your life? Well, as I was saying, there's a carefree day you know, we can have our political opinions, our football opinions, and the political opinions back when we were teens, we were tabloid opinions. Now, I think we're in an age where our, our, our opinion is full on bastard. Is full on bastard. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. It's totally unacceptable. Mm. And we, we cannot do this anymore. I, I about to say. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah. I really agree. You know that I've lost track of what I used to change my accent to the program, but we can't do this anymore. We're in a totally correct environment, but I yeah. can't do this anymore, and it's totally unacceptable. So this is how I sound normal like that. Yeah. Just generic South accent. I don't like that. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> from what you're saying, the next group football broke ground back then. Yeah. It was well, a rebel it, without a cause, it, in a sense. It was uh, allowed to be a rebel. I think that's the point. It was allowed to be. Now we're in this tough stage where we, we've done a front page of the Daily Mail. And <laughs> yeah. can only imagine, yeah. and and I, I'm not. I don't want this publicity. I've got a wife and kids who don't exist. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've got a life, you know, which is isn't pathetic. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's good to be back on the sofa with you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it is good. Uh, we, we did have some football opinion today, but I mean, there's not even a chance today. Not the best team in the world. We did lose a Yorkshire yeah. accent today, but the English league is, is, is garbage. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was going to say, you know, what we, it's, it's a bit documentary right now, isn't it? Uh, Palace football, back on the couch. Mm. Um, obviously, we got the Series 2, Episode 1, and yeah. it's all in um, that bar, that really oh, bloody dreadful bar opposite Largo. What did you do when we filmed that? Really? Yeah. Um, we never went from there. Life, life changed. Life got changed. cold. Yeah, happened a long years, time ago. Yeah, yeah, many years ago. Yeah, um, John O'Shea faded away. It did. It he did. Went to, he went to Sunderland. It's sad that in a way, isn't it? I, I wish John O'Shea. He's apparently dead. Is he? Allegedly. He says yeah. it a lot on the red issue. Nah, he's all mad. He's all mad. He's all mad. He's all mad. What's it called? Isn't it? It got. It did. It got pulled. Did he buy it? No, I didn't get it. Damn it. Yeah, you should have. Racism. Not that we endorse racism of any type. We don't. No, not at all. We hate racism. Yeah, kick racism out of football. We love black. Yeah, I know. We love black. <laughs> I love black. Oh, well, I love all black people. Are great. You, know, I, you know what I'm just saying? You know, you know I hate English white people. Yeah. I actually hate them. I'd love to see them die. Yeah. Just to say, see, yeah. no matter. And, uh, you're reading that off the script, obviously. No, I'm not reading that off the script. Yeah, yeah. that's also part. Now, oh, tonight's yeah. program's been sponsored by... Jim Lewis. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jim Lewis, that was Howard Chipman's wife. Was it? Oh, and who did that Howard Chipman sport? <coughs> Man City. No. No, 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 no. Hi. He's from Hi. We're back in the uh, Final School Football Bank on the couch. A documentary looking back at the glory years of life, then nothing really mattered. Um, so... Going back to my point, Dr. Howard Chipman actually supported Rest the role. He actually supported Southampton. Oh, Southampton, wow. Mm -hmm. um, he's been a big, big Matt Letitia fan. Ah, uh, well, I, I don't blame him. Are you really? Um, my head talent as well, yeah. Um, you know what? To be fair, from what I've heard about um, Chipman, he was actually a pretty decent doctor. I'd, I'd, I'd never, underlying age and made you, yeah, yeah. I never, still money for I, I, Yeah, I've never had the pleasure, so I shouldn't do it. You know what, if I had tonsillitis, I probably would go see him. Well, he's he's dead. dead. Yeah. He's dead, yeah. So you just should go see the corpse on the floor, really. That'd be disappointing. Oh, my tonsils hurt. 
Yeah. But then again, you can't get any bollocks in the uh, doctors yeah, anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, yeah. It, 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 we don't want our bodies getting too tiny by it. You'd have your tonsils removed. Um, I was going to in uh, January oh four. That's a really interesting story. Thank you. I, I, I bottled it up. Again, every asset I'm like, I bottled it. Yeah. Then I was not well to actually have my tonsils off. So I was unwell enough to actually not go to the hospital to have my tonsils off, which is a good place to go. Mm-hmm. Um, so Paul, anyway, um, how was life anyway since you know the last five years? Uh, five years, well, I, I I could sum up in five years by having the big green toilet. Yeah. <laughs> is that yeah? That's is, that, yeah, is that summing it up? Maybe? Yeah, I mean it would just push you away because you know. Uh, your legs might, yeah, my legs be hit exactly. Yeah. Just push you away, it might be good. Well, I, I think we should really tell people where we are right now. It's a Saturday evening. At the moment, I'm trying to vlog it. I've got a really boring day and I have a nice drink. So you know, yeah, go on. Oh, we really keep talking. Don't blow my nose. Well, okay. Um, how long are you going to do? I think we should just carry on for maybe another minute. Alright, okay. Uh, well, anyway, uh, my life, uh, usually me left with the camera, isn't it? Uh, my life um, has, um, I wouldn't say deteriorated because it was nothing anyway to begin with. Um, it's just remaining a static type of crap. Um, you know, Fanatico football represented an era, a chapter of our lives. It was more than a TV show, it was more than an internet TV show, it was it was an era, it was a category, it was a chapter, it was a bold focus and statement on life, it was who we were, what we did and what we believed in, you know, it was, as Diddy Rogsby said, an effing disgrace, and without using the um, F word, Paul, summarise, um, yeah. so, uh, you know, anyway, here we are on a Saturday night, uh, me and you, um, Watching YouTube clips, um, we did fucking our drinking alcohol. Though, to be fair, to be fucking honest. Well, true, but then we always. Yeah. I don't look good on camera. I think you look lovely. Yeah, thanks, dude. To be fair, yeah, if I was a woman, I would. Do you want? Can you not be your head? Can you smile? What's that? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. <coughs> That's what I should say. I'm, just, I'm not talking to Carla Cup friends, are I? Oh, yeah, but that's not yeah. something in the last five years. Man City uh, got bought by yeah, no um, cares. Uh, someone dreadful, and now we have a bunch of nurses. So, pretty much back to the era when we were from, Man City are the new Chelsea, oh, bloody hell, irrelevant yeah. mid-table, mid-table yeah. team, which always will be mid-table. I'd rather have a Meanwhile, uh, Newcastle are now managed by the ex chart manager, Do Alan Pardew. Well, true, but it's still Alan Pardew, the ex chart yeah, manager, yeah. who I applauded in Walkabout 2005. Can you applaud him now again? He, I think he's your man. If he is your man, because Charles is mm-hmm. he's taking Newcastle up. He's what about Cissé? I've always loved the Cissé, but now I've got a new Cissé. From the Bundesliga. Oh, well, yeah. It's the greatest league in the world. Here's to the Bundesliga. Here's to the Bundesliga. 69 Bundesliga. Anyway, um, we'd be about on the couch again. Um, I don't really know why we've done this, to be fair, but it's, 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 been, it's been nice to catch up, Paul. I haven't seen you in six years. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you in another six years I in the world. I haven't seen you in 25 years. You're building your building wall and you're seeing it. Why do you want to see me again? Let's not come on that. I no. No, 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 no. But wouldn't it be right. fun to do something on the building wall? Yeah, yeah, we we had a time it, machine. Yeah. Dance on it, it's actually nice to see you <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, that Doctor Who was that just a mental episode? Is this all why this? Or is this why didn't David do any P.O. Box for Colin? Like, he dressed as Like, stupid. Thanks for my name. Oh, sorry. That's not my name. Oh, what's your name? I don't want nobody else. Barry did. I love you. I'm Sebastian Lyon. Gary Neville's Lyon. Yeah, Gary Neville's Lyon. He's born an L, but a talented. He's right back. Is he right back or left back? He's left back. No. I was right. Back. Bang bang! Bang bang! On the door, baby! Bang bang on the door! Anyway, um, I was at work all right. So yeah, uh, we've been watching House of Commons and that. Who's your favourite politician, David? Um, you want me to say William Pitt, but I don't know enough about him to really make a comment on him. Elder or younger? Again, they really know not There you go, the name and the one. Uh, Okay, well I'm good if you give me a chance. That's good. My favourite Prime Minister is Gordon Brown. Do you know why? Targeted. 
answers. Tell you what, I, I, I read a newspaper article about him once in a cafe. And he seemed a genuine nice guy. Obviously, that was in the Sunday Mirror, which is That's about dead. as left as your language. Yeah, must be. So, yeah, doctor, is, doctor. I feel sorry for me. He's got kids. He's gaffing then, isn't he? Who's the last um, American president to have a PhD? Um, well, it wasn't Reagan, was it? Because he was there, the new Mark. Um, well, well, I'll come back. Well, we'll, he wasn't. We'll, he wasn't we'll, not on we'll the back to, We'll get back in the show. I know the answer. We'll get back to it in the show. Ooh. So, um, how, how is your wine? This is um, sponsored by Kumale. Um, we got sponsored. You know what? Well, you know, welcome to the twenty. 20- 12 here, where you know, you're not going to get soap powder being sponsored on Combination Street well, in the background. You know, we're in the background, like, you know, me and you are just talking now about, like, uh, so anyway, uh, I walked down the road um, and I saw Jesse, and um, how, um, how, I was talking about Jesse, and uh, how Jesse, is Jesse? Jesse's lovely. Jesse's lovely. Did Jesse get the Jesse job? Jesse is lovely. Did Jesse get the job in the end? Bang it. Did Jesse and get the job? She got my job, yeah. So Jesse's a thief. I gave him the job. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna go drawing pictures of Ryan Giggs' chest. Uh, your own fridge? Mine's fridge. Well, it's not really my fridge, is it? It looks yeah. well, uh, no, like it's yours, but. No, I'm alright, to be fair. Um, yeah. So, anyway, um, I'm probably going to call it that, Paul, because I don't really know what's going on, to be fair. It's been nice to be back on camera with you, though. It's been a while. Um, oh! Oh, maybe we should call Pete Tides. We'll get him on. Should we get him on? Should we end? Should we end up calling Pete? Let's call Pete. Yeah. Right. Remember, uh, if you remember, we had um, a, a, a bit on Fantastic Football, and now we're back on the couch, um, like this couch. Um, we're gonna call him um, and find out what the ex-executive producer Pete Title is doing. Uh, you, like, I remember on Fantasy Football episode one, I called you. Um, I don't even remember this. I actually called you. Um, Did I answer? I, no, you didn't. Uh, so let's let's see. Finally, uh, to end the show, to end the autobiographical uh, look back on um, an era of life, um, which is meaningful to us all, if we can actually finally get someone after seven, eight years, get someone to actually pick up. Thanks for calling, Dave. Sorry, his name's Pete Tazel, ex-executive producer. He's having sex with autism. That's what men do. Oh, can we leave him an answer? Is that what he sounds like? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to leave him an answer. I think we should leave him an answer. I'm going to leave him an answer. Hello, Pete. Um, anyway, um, it's Dave and, um, what's your name? Bobby Charlton. Bobby Charlton here. Um, we just thought we'd uh, check in with you and, you know, find out how you do, champ. But, but no, no, we're really, um, we're filming an autobiographical um, documentary. Beautiful. Um, on yeah. Fantastic Football, back on the couch, we're back on the couch. Um, and we just thought we'd check in with the ex-executive producer, um, Pete Tarzel, you know, the guy who held back the first four episodes of Fantastic Football, which in hindsight, we, we only got two. Um, I think you're a really handsome really guy. Got, yeah, we only got two of the episodes back. I think really. you're a really handsome guy. And they, they weren't that good, except yeah. for the phone in one, which was actually good. Um, so anyway, you just text me, so I'm going to end the call. Bye, you're Pete. really handsome. Bye. Um, oh, he's texting me. What's up, Gaffer? Well, well, he'll never know now, will he? Yeah. He'll never know. Um, if you call someone else. I'm going to blow my nose. Let's call uh, Wignall. What? <laughs> Please not call Wignall. We're going to call Wignall. <laughs> Please don't. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to call Wignall. Yo, he, he won't have my number. Why? Why would, any, why would anyone ever want to call Wignall? What situation life could happen? <laughs> right, what? Right, I, I, don't, I don't even know. I, I've got nothing against him. But, you know, there's no, there's no point in my life where, oh, God, I need to... Oh, it ended? And you ring him anyway. Oh, you can't oh. ring him anyway. You can't ring him anyway. He's why would he had my number about why? eight years ago. Why would anyone... Uh, uh, why would anyone want to ring him at any point? But why would anyone want chlamydia? Exactly. Well, exactly my point. Uh, nothing, I don't know I don't, what you're talking about. Sorry, I'm not claiming to hate. He's a lovely guy, but I just wouldn't want to...
that just killed me. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not calling. I mean, uh, I'm not pizza. calling him comedian. Yes, I'm, like I'm not calling him comedian. I'm, I'm no, saying like, why? Are you saying for pizza? I'm, I'm saying like, that's a bad thing to get. So why would you want? You from pizza? I'd like his opinion. That would be nice if he came out. That would be nice. And he goes, hmm. Should we call him again then? Yeah, we'll call it again. One more time. One more yeah. time for old school. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Uh, if he doesn't answer then he we just he just doesn't want to speak to us really. Uh, you know what I mean? That's some grooming, but you know, like you like to give him a sweet face, yeah. Ah, look at his face. 